In this tutorial, I'm going to show you one way to generate an alphanumeric list in Google Sheets. We'll start off by creating just a simple alphanumeric list containing 0 through 9, and then the alphabet in capital letters. After that, we will transpose that so it runs along a single row. Then we'll dive into merging that into a single cell. And finally wrap up by including the lowercase values as well in our list. Watch through to the end to get a link for the written tutorial containing three extra bonus ways of doing this and their pros and cons. Let's get cracking. The first thing we want to do is create an alphanumeric list that runs down the column here. So we're going to rely on three functions, array formula, base, and sequence. Now sequence is probably the easiest one to explain. So if we ran a sequence down a row, we could use the equals and then sequence function. And the sequence allows us to create a matrix of n by n pieces of data with a starting number and a step. So if we step in increments of one, then we're good. So for us, we want to make a sequence that contains 10 numbers and the alphabet. So the alphabet is 26, including 10 numbers. So that's 36. Let's type in 36 as our number of rows that we want to generate. And then the column is just going to be one because we would just want to run it up and down column A. And then we want to start our numbering at zero instead of one because we want to go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way down to Z. Yeah, I said it Z, not Z. It's an Australia thing. Okay, and then we've got one. One is the step. So it will increment by zero, then one, then two. You can do twos, which would be zero, then two, then four, etc. Okay, so let's see how this looks first. So you can see now we've got a sequence that's running all the way down to 35, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now we can change this sequence by its base. So what do I mean by that? So there's two types of base that you might be familiar with. The first one is binary. You probably hear a lot about that in computer science or when you're when relating to early days of computing. The second one you might hear is the hexadecimal base. And you'll probably know that in relation to colors. So let's just use base two, for example, if I typed in the base function in Google Sheets, and we put a value in here, say two, for example, and then we make it base two and hit enter. So two is gonna be 10. And if we went all the way down as Google Sheets is helpfully suggesting, we can see our base numbers calculated as such. Now, if I did something different here, if I change this to base and made that base 36, which is the largest base we can make in Google Sheets, and hit enter, you can see two hasn't changed, but if I drag that all the way down to the bottom, you can see now we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we went back, but I don't want to keep that formula there for your reference. And if we went all the way down to, to the bottom, we would get to Z. So it's a convenient way for creating a list. Now we don't want A column and a B column. We want to put it all in one brilliant fancy column. So let's just delete that for now. And let's wrap our sequence in a base. Now, you might find that we're gonna get something weird going on here. So the first thing we've got is our sequence. That's the value that we have. Now this is, says value, not value. So keep that in the back of your mind. We'll put in our base here, and remember that's going to be 36. So it'll get us all our numbers and all our letters in capitals. And then we're gonna close that base and hit enter. Ah, we've only got one. So we need to run this base over the array that we've generated. Fortunately, Google Sheets has the array formula function to do this. So if we type in array formula and put a brackets around this and close that, it's now going to iterate through each one in the sequence we generated, creating the appropriate base for it. So let's hit enter. So now we've got our zero through to nine, and then our A all the way through to Z. Cool. So how do we change this formula to run it across a single row? Well, let's select that formula again, hit Control C and hit Tab just to get out of it. Let's head over to our row example here. Now, if I put this in here and we hit Control V to paste, all we need to do, so remember this was row of 36 and columns of one. Let's just change that to one and 36 and see what magic happens. Cool. Now we've got all our numbers and letters running all the way across the single row. Awesome. 
So let's just grab this one again by selecting Control C and then tab out. So the next thing we might want to do is just put all our numbers and letters into a single string so we can perhaps reference it later on down the track. So if we go in and paste this back into the formula bar in A2 and we type in this time the join function, this is going to ask for a delimiter. Now a delimiter is like how do you want these items separated? Well we don't want them separated, we just want to mash them all together into one big uh, set of numbers and letters. And we'll put a comma in there and then we'll just close everything off and you can already see in the preview that we've got our result. Cool. Alright, no worries, let's roll back a bit to our columns again. We've got this 0 to 9, A through to Z in capital letters. What about if we want to include lowercase as well? Let's go ahead and copy this formula again. Hit Control C. Go over to Include Lowercase Sheet Tab. And we're going to hit Control V to paste. And this time around, we're going to use arrays. Now we can generate an array by using these curly braces here. So if I just wrap that one around here, it's not going to do anything different to what we already have because we've got an array. But the power of using these arrays is that we can join two sets of arrays together, either running them across a row or down. So let's just drag this down a bit. And I'm going to use a colon. Now colons are going to say you want the next array to be below it. If you use a comma, that's going to say you want the array to be beside it. And you want semicolon. I'm going to hit control enter just to get to a new line. I might do it again too, just to get out of that array and move my cursor up. We're going to repeat the process that we had before. So we're just going to put in our array formula. And then before we hit base, we're going to use the lower function to move everything to lowercase. Then we'll go and add in our base function and then our sequence. Now this time our sequence is going to only take 26 rows. Essentially we want to cut out the first set of rows from 0 through to 9. So let's just say we only want 26 rows. We want one column but we want to start at 10. And then our step again is going to be one. And then we need to set our base. So that's base 36 still. Close this off. And then we need to close off the array formula and hit enter. Cool. So now we've got our zero all the way through to nine, then A all the way through to Z, and then lowercase a all the way through to Z. And we're done. That's all you need to know to create an alphanumeric list in Google Sheets. If you want to see three more approaches on how to do this and, the, and a copy of the formula, check out the link in the description below for the written tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe and smash that notification bell so you get an update of when the next tutorial comes out. Until next time.